Hello. We're going to be working on lesson 10-4 in our Envision Math Workbooks. You need to turn to page 445 to 448 to complete the workbook pages for this lesson. You won't need to turn to those workbook pages just yet, but you need to have them available for after watching this lesson. There might be times where I ask you to pause and fill out um, a question as well, so you also need to have a piece of paper and a pencil ready to write. Um, we have two goals that we're going to be working on today. You need to be able to, after this lesson, you will be able to use models and place value in order to add three-digit numbers. The different thing about this lesson is that we're going to be using our place value chart to find the partial sums so that we can add things together in an easier way. Um, before we start talking about that part, I want to give you some background information. And so we're going to talk about a couple of numbers. The first number that I want to discuss is this number 372. If I was to ask you, hey, how many um, tens are in the number 372? you would tell me seven tens. So I'm going to just underline where that seven is on there. Maybe I'm going to switch colors up. Blue's a little tricky to see. So there are seven tens in the number 372. Remember, this seven tens is equal to 70. If we were drawing the seven tens on a place value chart, we would draw seven circles on our tens column. That's how we would show the 70. If we wanted to write the entire number of 372 on our place value chart, we would write three on our hundreds place, two on our ones place, in order to fill the rest of those numbers in. This is stuff that you already know. These are things that we've already been practicing. This is some information that you already have inside of your head. Um, how many tens are in this number? You're right, there are eight tens in this number. Here's my number eight. My eight tens has a value of 80. When I was writing this in expanded form, I would write 200 plus the 80 for the tens plus the 6 equals 286. Remember when we used to do that? Yep, Sam clap about that. Um, that's something that you already have learned. Knowing the value of each of these places is something that we're building on as we're going forward in these lessons. So back to our goal for today. Today you're going to be looking at a couple of word problems. And in those word problems, you're going to have to be showing um, some partial sums in order to explain the reasoning behind why your answers are what they are. Um, for example, we are going to look a little bit um, just quickly at one example of how to show um, an addition equation on a place value chart. So 375 plus 145 on a place value chart. I want you to go ahead and pause and I want you to make sure that you know how to do this before I dive right into it. This builds on our lesson from yesterday. This is something that we practiced yesterday. So pause, write it on there, and I'm going to come back and we're going to review what it should look like. Then I'll talk to you about how that connects with what we're learning today. Okay, so when I'm looking at this number, I'm going to go ahead and write 375 on my place value chart, and I'm going to show how I would add the second number. So 3 
in the hundreds place, seven in my tens, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and five in the ones. Then I'm adding to it the number 145. So that's one in the hundreds, four in my tens, and five in the ones. This is how you should have it set up. There might have been some um, bundling up that you've done at this time, but I'm gonna have you pause and just only work on that part because today we're gonna be adding a little bit on there about partial sums. In order to turn this into an addition equation where you would use partial sums, instead of lining this problem up horizontally, you're gonna to need to line it up vertically. So 375 plus 145. And underneath here, I'm gonna just kind of draw a line to separate this over a little bit. Underneath here is where we're going to write the partial sums. There are going to be three partial sums that we're going to find um, in just a second. Those are going to go here. Then it'll tell us what our sum of all of these numbers ends up being. So for example, if I count all of the ones that are in this ones place, I know this is 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. I'm going to just write the number 10 there. I'm not bundling up anything at this time because I want to use partial sums. If I was to count the tens, remember the value of each of these place value disks is 10. So when I count up how many I have, I'm going to add a zero at the end to show that that's how many tens there are. So we've got 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I have 11 tens. I'm going to add a zero at the, at the end because 11 tens has the value of 110. Then I'm going to count how many hundreds I have. One, two, three, four. I'm going to put four for the hundreds, and I have to add two zeros at the end to show that that's worth 400. So 100, 200, 300, 400. This has a value of 400. These are what I'm going to write as my partial sums underneath my equation. So I'm going to just go in order from greatest to least, and I'm going to say 400 plus 110 plus 10. Notice how we have to keep these lined up. All my ones are lined up. All my tens are lined up. And my four and my one in the hundreds place, they are also lined up. Um, after I have that information, I can go ahead and now I'm not going to look at this equation anymore. I'm looking at only the 400 plus 110 plus the 10. That'll tell me what the sum of all of these numbers is, is equal to. So all of my zeros just kind of cancel out. Zero plus one is one. Add one more. That will be two in my tens place. Four hundreds plus one hundred is five hundred. The sum of this will be five hundred twenty. So three hundred seventy-five plus one hundred forty-five equals five hundred twenty. This is using partial sums, and we used this place value chart as a way to, to figure out what the partial sums are. We're going to do another um, equation. All right, so we're doing partial sums, and I'm going to just write on a place value chart. I'm going to pick a new number, 237 plus 186 equals something. I'm going to go ahead and put that on my place value chart. Do not do any regrouping um, at this time because we have to use it as the partial sums for this equation. So go ahead, pause your video. I'm going to stand up in a second after I have this ready. I'd like for you to put this equation on your place value chart, but don't do any bundling at this time. All right, so now that we have this information that's on here, I'm gonna just quick put mine on. You should just double check that your, your picture looks just like my picture. So 237, we've got two in the hundreds, three in my tens, and seven in the ones, five and six and seven, 186, I've got one in the hundreds, eight 
in my pen book, a lot of tens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm six in the ones. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Remember, I'm going to be using this space to the side so that I can write my equation. I'm trying to figure out how to get this um, displayed, I guess, for the partial sums. That's the whole point of putting it on this place value chart. So I'm going to just write it over here to the side. I'm writing it horizontally. Remember the up and down. Um, I'm sorry, the vertical, the up and down. I'm taking it from the horizontal side to side. So 237 plus 186. Now I'm going to just count each of these columns and see what I've got for my partial sums. Got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 in my ones place. So I'm going to just write my 13. And I've got 10s, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 in my 10s. Remember, it's not just worth the, the value of 11, it's worth 11 tens. So I do need to add a zero at the end to show that it is worth 11 tens. Um, I've got one, two, three, and my hundred. Three hundreds is worth the value of 300. Um, now, these are the, the, the partial sums that are going to go below my equation. So I'm going to write 300, 110, and then we've got 13. I'm going to put a plus sign because I'm going to be adding these partial sums together. So, 0 plus 0 plus 3 is 3. 0 plus 1 is 1. 110 plus 110 is 210. And 300 plus 100 is 400. So, 423 is the sum of 237 plus 186. This is how you show it using partial sums on a place value chart. I'm going to give you another one before I do another little part of the review. So we've got 392 plus 427 equals to be something. Um, I'm going to put it on my place value chart, my hundreds, my tens, and my ones. And I'm also saving a space because to the side I want to use the, the, the partial sums um, equation. I'm going to go ahead and do this ahead of time. Please fill in 392 plus 427 on your place value chart. Push play when you're done with that, and then you can finish the rest of the equation with me. All right, so we aren't going to be um, bundling up any tens at this time. Um, so we need to have the 390. And 2 plus 427, 1, 2, 3, 4, there's the 2, and we've got 7 over here in the 1's place. Um, let's go ahead and figure out what we've got over here in our 1's. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 in our 1's place. We have a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 in our tens place. That's kind of our magic number. Remember you're adding a zero because the value of 11 tens is 110. Remember, there's like a secret hidden number in that number. It shows you that there are 11 tens in the value of 110. Um, in our hundreds, we've got 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 hundreds is worth the value of 700. That tells us what our partial sums are, 700, 110, and 9. If I add those together, it will tell me the sum of these two, two numbers and give us the, the sum of our equation. So 0 plus 0 is 0, plus the 9 is 9, 0 tens plus 110 is 110, 700 plus um, 100 is 800. So the sum is 819.
So on your work, you're going to have some problems where you're going to have to solve them just like this. The other thing that I'm going to need to, to review with you is something that you've already learned, but I want to kind of hit hard again, just because sometimes word problems can really be a little bit tricky. So I made a chart with some clue words to help us. Um, these clue words are all having to do with addition. These are some addition clue words in all together. The sum of buy, when you buy something, you have it. Um, add plus join total more increase combine add and more than. Um, I've written out a couple of these. Let me just double check. We can see it. All right. So on Monday, the students in the Moore house, whoop, whoop, um, they earned a total of 362 points. And I'm just looking for a marker. Here we go. Um, on Tuesday, they earned 446 points. How many points does a Moore house have all together? Show your work on a place value chart. So, if I'm doing a word problem, I'm going to look through and I'm circling my numbers, the 362 and the 446. How many points does a Morehouse have all together? My clue word, all together, all right? Show your work on a place value chart. And I'm trying to figure out how many that they have from Monday and Tuesday. So I have to create an equation. And my equation will be 362 plus 446. And I'm trying to figure out that on a place value chart. Since we're talking about partial sums, I'm going to take that and use that um, on a place value chart to solve this equation. So my hundreds, my tens, my ones, this is not going to work out. I need to scoochy scoochy over my hundreds, tens, and ones. I've got 362. Three, six. And then two in my ones, 446. One, two, three, 400. We've got 40. And then one, two, three, four, five, and six. I've got to show that on my place value chart. Remember, the, the whole goal of today, we're using these partial sums. I know that they're weird, and I know you know how to solve this the regular way, but as second graders, you have to be able to use different strategies. This is just the strategy of partial sums combined with the strategy of using a place value chart. You're really good at this. I know this is going to be easy for you, but I do want you to have the extra practice so that it sticks in your brain a little bit and you can have it as part of your tools. Okay, so here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight in the one. We've got a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10 10s. Ooh, the value of 10 10s. 100. I wish you guys were here and I didn't have to just snap to an empty audience. That's okay, though. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 in my 100. 7 hundreds is worth 700. So my partial sums, I'm going to write under there. 700, 100, and 8. Zeros all the way. Zero plus zero is zero. Seven hundreds plus one hundred is eight hundreds. So the sum is eight hundred eight. Wow, congratulations, a Morehouse. Eight hundred eight points, and you've only had Monday and Tuesday to earn them. All right, maybe you guys will win having the most house points. Um, so I guess essentially what I need you to be working on, um, you've got in your book, you've got numbers 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. There are a couple of times where you've got some word problems to work on, but otherwise you should be ready to go. And I know you're going to be an expert at this if you aren't already. Have a great day.